you man. Hope everything everybody is doing well. Hope everybody had a great day at work or whatever you did at school and so forth. I hope your day went extremely well. I just wanted to talk uh touch on a couple of topics tonight. Um one thing that uh caught my attention is New Year's. New Year's is coming up, you know, Christmas is coming up, Thanksgiving is already said and done, and it's more focused on Christmas and New Year's. And my thing about New Year's that I wanted to bring up is goals. New Year goals, resolutions, uh, what you want to change about yourself or what do you want to make better in your life. And my advice is, you know, just take one step at a time. Me personally, I really have to figure out what that means because I'm the type of person that will try to um, take on more than I can handle at once. So when I do that, my me, myself, I find myself falling behind on projects, falling behind on my work, falling behind on this everyday, everyday things necessary to keep my life flowing the way it should be. So I had to, I had to you know, really buckle down and say, wait a minute, what am I doing here? What am I doing? Am I moving too fast? Am I moving too slow? Am I not just doing anything at all? And, you know, I wasn't doing anything, any of those things. It was me doing too much, you know what I'm saying? So... I just want to touch bases with y'all as far as New Year's. Don't do not overwhelm yourself as far as New Year's. Yeah, it yeah it is a New Year's. Yeah, you would like to do stuff differently, you know, versus the previous year. But you have to understand that you know when you set goals and um, milestones for yourself, it's, it takes work. So it's just not 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 an overnight thing. So me personally, I I would advise everybody uh, just to start out with one or two goals. And it could be easy goals, it could be intermediate goals, it could be advanced goals, you know what I'm saying? But set that one goal and make it reachable, you know what I'm saying? Don't set a goal that you think you're not going to hit. You're just putting that out there like, oh, I'm going to make a million dollars next year. You know, be realistic with your goals because once you start to realize is that once time goes on and you're being uh, committed to your goals, you're going to start hitting them. 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 It's where people give up. Is where those goals is basically disappear, and I see a lot of that. People giving up on their goals two, three days into the new years, and it's just like there's 365 days out of the year, so you gotta have to utilize that to make your goal come true. Just because it's January 5th, January 7th, or February 1st, doesn't mean you have to remain there every year to reach your goal. You know, that's part of the new year resolution. You know what I'm saying? So I want everybody just you know to take a deep breath and you know just breathe and realize that it's not a race it's more of a marathon you know what i'm saying life is not a race at all you know we you are here for a long time so supposedly you know i only say that because anything can happen obviously but you have to just take your time and really develop ways for yourself to make the goals that you set for yourself obtainable you know so, and another thing, um, do not get stressed out over Christmas. Christmas is fine and Danny, yes it is, true indeed, but don't get stressed out over it. If you find yourself not being able to afford that particular gift or anything like that, there's ways around that. So, for example, if you can't afford a gift, right, say your kid been wanting this gift forever and ever and ever, right, convert it to, convert it to, you know, um, a weekend at uh, Chuck E. Cheese, convert it to uh, giving that present for their he or she birthday. You know, don't get so full of yourself thinking you got to, you know, impress your kids. You know, it's nice to get your kids all this, but when it's all said and done, if you don't have the money for it, then you don't have the money for it, you know? So there's other ways of going about it versus, you know, burning a hole in your pocket this so your your kid can be happy for the next two and a half weeks because they're going to get old of what they're doing or using, what, two weeks, three weeks, maybe a month, they're kids, you know what I'm saying? So don't get overwhelmed about that. I found myself personally getting overwhelmed about that in the previous years. No, I'm not, you know what I'm saying? Because I know now I start saving five to six months in advance. I do stuff accordingly now. That's just one of the things I had to work out with myself, you know, so, um, my best wishes to everybody as far as this new year coming in, 2016, we're still a couple of weeks out, so I, I wish everybody the best of luck, I really do, and 
man. Just keep your goals simple, man. This, this, this real simple goals. This, you know, if it's, if it's, oh, I'm gonna wash my car or <clears throat> I'm gonna look for another job. You know, th those are simple goals. And what you're gonna realize once you hit those simple goals, you're gonna be able to make a intermediate goals and advanced goals. It's almost like setting up blocks. You know how the little it starts out with the little block, then a little block eventually knocks off the big block because it's a step-by-step -step pro uh, progress so <clears throat> everybody just you know stay focused on what you guys are trying to accomplish in your life as far as your short-term goals and when it comes down to new year's just you know just do what you can don't get so stressed out about it you know especially with christmas do not get stressed out about it do what you can and then go from there you know so i just wanted to make this video tonight just to give you guys words of encouragement. 